you've just got a Britannia parking ticket. Ignore it and things could get a lot worse. The last thing you want is a county court judgment or a debt collector coming to bang on your door. But that doesn't mean you have to pay instantly. Successfully appealing a fine isn't nearly as hard as many people imagine. I'll show you how. Now simply ignoring your ticket could see you receiving letters and calls and if things really escalate, a county court judgment. Now I've researched these and they're really serious. They'll impact your credit report, making credit and mortgages harder to obtain in the future. Your Britannia letter will likely be accusing you of some heinous crime, like parking two inches over a white line or staying two minutes too long. The reality is there's actually a 10 minute grace period for car parks, which might work in your favor. If you believe the ticket was wrongly issued, say you were within that grace period, then your first port of call should be to go and speak to the facility manager who might be able to have the ticket cancelled for you. If that fails and you still think the ticket is unfair, say a genuine emergency or a vehicle breakdown prevented you from leaving the car park on time, then that might give you some good grounds for an appeal. Additionally, Britannia parking are obligated to make their parking rules clear. If you feel that their signposting was unfairly poor, then strengthening your appeal by going back to the scene of the crime and snapping a few supporting photos is certainly not a waste of time. Be sure to follow the appeals procedure on the ticket as soon as possible. The quicker you can get an appeal filed, the sooner the problem can be resolved. But you need a fair time to be able to prepare any appeal. If Britannia Parking didn't get their letter to you within 14 days, then it's not unreasonable to ask for extra time. Writing an appeal letter can be daunting. It's hard to be totally sure what to say. A popular option is to consult a solicitor who can help to make your appeal airtight. There's many online solicitors that work out cheaper and easier than meeting one in person. Just Answer, for example, only costs £5 for a trial. And I know a guy who saved £271 on a ticket doing this. I've linked that offer in the description, and if you use that, you'll also be supporting Money Nerd, so thank you.